welcome friends in this video we are going to learn about integrator and differentiator of op amp so integrator and differentiator is the one of the application of operational amplifier so first see what is integrator so integrator means the output voltage is the integration of the input voltage that is called integrator so this is the circuit diagram of integrator so here this is the operational amplifier symbol of op amp so here the input voltage is applied to the inverting terminal and here one feedback capacitance is connected between input and output so integrator circuit means the capacitance is connected between input and output node so this is the integrated circuit so this operational amplifier normally that is the active device so if this integrator using an active devices is called active integrator so we can say this is active integrator so here we will going to calculate output voltage of the integrator so this is node b node b is grounded node a is also at ground potential from the concept of virtual ground that means vb is equal to 0 means va is also 0 so here va is equal to 0 vb 0 next we are going to calculate the current value as Input current of the op amp is 0. Normally the input current of the op amp is 0. The entire current I flows through R1 also flows through CF capacitance. So first from input side what is I value? So I is flowing through R1 resistance. So the R1 resistance the potential difference is V in minus VA. So that is I is equal to what is Ohm's law I is equal to V by R. So I is equal to V in minus VA divided by R1, V by R. So we know that means VA is equal to 0. That means V in divided by R1. Next from output side, we are going to the cal we are going to calculate current value. So current I is flowing through capacitance. Capacitance one end is connected to VA, other end is connected to output voltage V0. Normally, the capacitance current is right like this. That is, I is equal to C dV divided by dT. That means here the current value is I is equal to CF D. What is the voltage difference? That is VA minus V0. CF v d v a minus v naught divided by d t so this is the current value i is equal to c of d v a minus v naught divided by d t we know that is v a is equal to 0 if you are substituting v a is equal to 0 here we will get i is equal to minus c of d v naught divided by d t next we are going to equate these two equation so that means I V in divided by R1 is equal to minus C of D V naught divided by DT. We are going to calculate this V naught. For that we are integrating both sides. So integral 0 to T V in by R1 into DT is equal to minus C of integral D V naught DT into DT. So here this integral and differentiation get cancelled. Then we will get Integral 0 to t v in by r1 into dt is equal to minus c of v0. From this we have calculate v0 value that is v0 is equal to minus 1 by c of r1 integral 0 to t v in dt plus v0 of 0. So here v0 of 0 is the constant of integration that indication that indicating the initial output voltage. So here the output voltage, this equation shows one minus 1 by R1 CF times the integral of the input. And R1 CF is called time constant of the integrator. 
so this negative sign indicates that there is a phase shift of 180 degree between input and output the main advantage of such an active integrator is the large time constant so this is the integrator next we will see what is differentiator so differentiator is the the output voltage is the differentiation of the input voltage that is called differentiator this is also active differentiator because we are using active device operational amplifier so this is also known as active integrator next we will calculate the output voltage of differentiator so the virtual ground concept so this is the circuit diagram of differentiator the circuit difference between differentiator and integrator is here in integra differentiate integrator we are connecting capacitance in the feedback side and the resistance is connected at the input side here that is resistance is connected in feedback side and the capacitor is connected in input side so that is the main difference between the circuit diagram of integrator and differentiator so let's see the output voltage so here the virtual crown concept vb is equal to zero node b voltage is zero same node a voltage is also zero that means va is equal to zero vb also zero next we are going to find the current value here as input current of op amp is zero so entire i current flows through the entire circuit so the current flow through the capacitance first we are going to current flow through the capacitance that is capacitance means i is equal to c dv by dt that means i is equal to c1 dv in minus va divided by dt so here va value is equal to 0 if you are substituting 0 here we will get i is equal to c1 dv in divided by dt then from output side resistance i is current flow through the resistance that is i is equal to v by r that is va minus v naught divided by rf va value is equal to 0 that means i is equal to v naught minus v naught divided by rf next we are going to equate these two equation to find the output voltage if you are equating these two equation we we will get the v naught value is v naught is equal to minus c1 rf dv in divided by dt this is the output voltage of differentiator the equation shows that the output is c1 rf times the differentiation of the input and the product c1 rf is called time constant of the differentiator the negative sign indicates that there is a phase shift of 180 degree between input and output the main advantage of such an active differentiator is the small time constant required for differentiation so this is integrator and differentiator thank you friends